Ciao, buongiorno a tutti ragazzi. It's a very, very happy morning to be an Interesta. Don't let the Father's Day hang over for you. Happy Monday to everybody who woke up in Sydney at 4.45 or whether you're in Asia somewhere at 2 a.m. or whether you conveniently had a, a Sunday evening fixture in Italy or the UK. Well done. Bravo ragazzi. We have beaten Cagliari by two goals to one away. We reversed that score in the fixture last season after losing 2-1 in Sardinia. A tough place to go to get three points. Not only that, Still with a lineup starting, Ranocchia, who, even though he's playing well, is our fifth choice centre back behind D'Ambrosio. Who, when you put them two in a back three together, it's still shaky because it's just still shaky. We know it's going to be. Candreva looked exhausted today, so did Vecino and Asamoa as well. It took a long time to grow into the match, but I gotta say to those fans who were saying that we look tired, we look depleted, what do you expect? Where we're going into a new season with a training regime so much stricter, so much tougher and physically demanding than it was last season. Not only that, we're still waiting to integrate so many of our players fully. De Vrij, uh, Godin made his debut today. Fantastic little cameo at the end, only for about, like, I think it was eight or nine minutes. But it was still good to see him. Politano coming off the bench is the best option. He offers so much energy. Remember how many substitutions we've had to make in the past one, two, three, four, five, six seasons? That just, they're not good substitutions. They don't work in our favor to the style of play in terms of closing out a game. Bringing on players like Valero, like Galliardini, like Eder, like, you know, full kudos to Eder. He, he, would, he would score some really important equalizers and stuff, but having a player like Politano on the bench for the last 10 to 15 minutes, it gives you this breakaway option, this awesome breakaway option on the counter. And we're not going to be caught. Not, not in the last 20 minutes when a defense is completely depleted. A player like Politano to have then is perfect. And he did his role today again as well. I think he's pretty much squashed those BS rumors in the last two days of him leaving for Fiorentina with us looking to sign Rebic. I'm pretty sure he might even be going to AC Milan. Rebic, um, they can have him for all I care. He's never a player on my wish list. Never a player that really into wanted just because of the Frankfurt fixture. I think that's where the links came from. In terms of the match today, we started off very slow. I think we took a while to grow into that game, but once we did develop a little bit of a feel for it, we started to get a little bit more comfortable. I think that we started the second half very poorly, but we grew into the second half quite comfortably. After Cagliari got their equalizer, if this was last season, you probably see the opposition push on against Inter to try and grab the second, and we wouldn't be the team on the front foot. But when Cagliari went one all, we did take up the front foot and we started to push the ball more through Sensi and Brozovic more freely. Uh, there was a little bit of one touch, two touch play from Lautaro and Lukaku. I think Lukaku was okay. We're going to see performances like this, ragazzi. And it's, it's going to get worse sometimes because we are going to come up against tougher opposition. If you give Lukaku a second or two to think, it's chances are you may make the wrong decision, especially on the ball. But a lot of the time he will make a nice turn, a lot of the time he will hold the ball up very well and that's what he did today. Kudos to him for banging in that penalty, his penalty was perfect, his body language on the penalty was fantastic, he completely fooled the keeper into going the wrong way. And then after that I really thought we'd go on to grab a third, I thought he should have grabbed the third, he did miss that easy tap in. And once again Ragazzi, you are going to see that again from, Brozovi, uh, from Lukaku, he is a little bit inconsistent in that but we hope that his confidence as he grows into this inter jersey, he will begin to put those away left, right and centre. I think Barella off the bench was very, very encouraging. Again, very tough and tenacious. A lot of the time he gets the ball in midfield and you'd see Cagliari flock two defenders towards him. That's a no-brainer. He was pretty much their anchor, deep lying, playmaking midfielder. Even had an attacking presence for them for the last two, three years. So it, it made sense that they would double team him. That's probably a reason why Conte didn't choose to play him for that long. I thought he would start him and play him in maybe a different role. But... You know, he still came on and did his job well. Senzi, I think, was crowded a lot today, but he did very well again today. Brozovic, a lot of pay, um, fans saying he was a bit poorer today. I think he was just trying to hold it down. It, it was a physically demanding match in the middle of the park. We saw a lot of Cagliari's tactics to go down and try and milk a bit of time and milk a few free kicks. <laughs> Our old boy Raja Nangolan, he's a ninja. He was a bit of a wuss today, to be honest. He was a bit of a pansy. He had a bit of a whinge, too many whinges here and there. And, you know what, to our credit, we crunched him pretty hard in the middle of the park. Um, he went down a few times over some tough tackles. I think Brozovic made what looked to be a semi-malicious tackle on him, to be honest. Um, I wonder what that's about, considering they were, they were two pretty close friends when Raja was a member at Inter. Ragazzi, it's, it's a good day to be an Inter fan, but um, these are the kind of matches that 
They bring you down to earth a little bit. They make you a little bit more reserved. We are going to have to fight tooth and nail to win these games this season. They're not going to be easy. You know, Lecce was a walk in the park. Cagliari in Sardinia is not a walk in the park. Udinese won't be a walk in the park. Milan won't be a walk in the park. Like, you know, the, the, the fixtures are going to be tough. And they are only going to get tougher as time goes on. So, I'm very, very happy though because this is the kind of game in the last season or two, three, four that we probably wouldn't have won. And we definitely wouldn't have closed out so comfortably. You know, we didn't put 10 men behind the ball. We, we played good counter-attacking football in the last 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that the lead was protected. We held the ball up for long durations in Cagliari's final third in order to milk some clock and get the rest of the team down there. And Conte looked pretty content. He, Conte looked happy at the end and Conte looked happy with everything that was going on. So that's why I'm really happy as well. I hope everyone enjoys their Monday. To be honest, I'm looking forward to coming home and going to bed. Forza Inter, ciao ragazzi, on to the next one.